thing. Yeah, I think I'm 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 at a point in my life like very much like you where when you were younger, where like I, I don't teach at the moment because I, I would I see too many teachers doing it just for monetary gain. They don't do it for the student's benefit. And so I think I will only get into teaching when I'm doing it because I solely am doing it for them, you know? And obviously the ships take us away for seven months at a time. So there's not really that much time in between. Right. I wouldn't want to start with a student and right. then leave for seven months, not be available, then come back. It would be like too mismatched. But in the future, I would love to. But it, like I said, for the reason exactly like you, where the primary focus is the development of the student and the cash is kind of just a side, you know, it's just great that you're also getting paid. Do you know what I mean? Well, that statement, that statement is, 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 um, is a sign of good character. You know, the, the, way, the way you're feeling that and you say, I'm not doing it because if I do it now, it's not the right way to do it. Yeah. It's a good sign of good character. Uh, now, the money is not a side. The money is important. But one thing that a lot of people get confused, like I'm extremely successful, right? You know, right. when people go, I wrote a book. I go like, that's cute. I wrote 13 and I'm on my 14th. <laughs> Or people goes like, I got an endorsement. I got an endorsement, man. I got a free drums. I got eight drum sets. Do you do you do you ever met anybody that got eight drum sets in the middle of a pandemic? Have you? No, I haven't. No, Pedro. eight, <laughs> eight sona drums. Two drums for me, six drums for this school for free in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah. Why I'm saying that? Why I'm saying that? Vic first makes my my signature sticks, right? The best drum comp. But I want to also have a jazz stick. The middle of the pandemic, not only I have one signature stick, I have two. Now, I'm not talking about, I have this, I have that, I have that. I want you to ask why. Why? Yeah. Respect. Respect. Yeah. Credibility. Respect. That's right. That's right. But I think you're so right. I, I absolutely love what you're saying because it's like you know you wouldn't go and see a fat dietitian or a fat person yeah. right? we think i like i tell my students would you take marriage advice from a divorce guy <laughs> financial advice from a guy who's broke yeah right like you said you know so this is so frustrating because here's what's happening right now you got a 16 year old who started marketing does amazing video, great light, great sound. Never played with anyone, nobody. Yeah. Never, never taught anywhere. And but he looks so cool. He knows how to talk. He knows how to do that. And he's gonna say, "I'm gonna help you to be successful." You never played with anybody, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you I, have I, no. I, you I, have I, no I, degree. Yeah. Everybody on the drum set coach academy has two degrees. A master, Danny Sanderson, my business partner, has two degrees. My wife has two degrees. I have two degrees. Also. I played with a lot of people in a lot of styles, Brazilian, Afro-Cuban, rock, big band. I learned a lot from that, but I don't have time to do marketing stuff. You know, I, I, I you know, I play drums. So that's very frustrating to see people being a ship, sheep instead of a lion, you know, and um, you have to meet my, my elite group. I want you to talk to them. I would love to. Because uh, think about this for a minute. This course at Berkeley is 12 weeks. So you have 12 lessons. At the drum set coach is 16 weeks. Yeah. Two weeks of you start with me at the drum set coach is, is two months at Berkeley. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, when you're in college, you, you have another 10 to 12 classes. You don't have time. But the guys at the drum set coach, we do like, okay, we're going to do, uh, we just finished 16 weeks of the polyrhythm course. And then we do another 12 weeks just hands. So it's very focused and you go really deep. So it have an impact on you, on your play, you know? Yeah, I just, I absolutely, I cannot identify with it more. That's the reason why, like in the future, I would love my own academy. I'd love to do things like you're doing, but I, I don't, I, I want to do it when I've earned it. You know what I mean? When, yeah. when you have the credibility to do it, like we've just said, you wouldn't go to an overweight personal trainer because they they don't even heed their own advice. So why would you heed that advice? 
Yeah. You know? So it's like, it's exactly the same. When I go into teaching and I, I want to open my own rehearsal facilities and things like that, I want to do it because they're like, well, why should I come to you? And it's like, well, because I've done all of this, you know? That's yeah, what- and also also there's a legacy, you know? I, I don't take credit of what I teach because, you know, I had Alan Dawson and Gary Shafee and Freddie Gruber and Jim Shaping and Dr. John Wooten. And then I had mentors like Phil Wilson and Wayne Oz and Greg Hopkins, all those guys that play with Buddy Rich, you know. And I also have two mentors that has nothing to do with music, Leon Newman and Jim Peterson. Those guys are older men that helps me with spiritual ways and decisions and um, you know so I have a lot of people that also taught me a lot that I can teach that I can pass that along to other people you know but also as part of your program you can you can draw on that experience as well drumming is not just about the physical ability to play drums right yeah so my approach to teaching well I have two black belts one black belt in Shotokan karate in a black belt in Goju Ryu karate, so I'm a martial artist. And then uh, I was in the military for 13 years on the United States Air Force. Wow. Uh, uh, so I got the military, the karate, and also I have a master's degree in music. And I'm a Christian. I respect all religions, but I'm a Christian. So my teachings are heavily influenced by martial artists, discipline, the military discipline, the musical academia, my faith, and then I was a street musician all the way to high school. So all this stuff is infused on my teaching. So to be honest with you, what I teach my students has nothing to do with drumming, actually. I teach them things that if they learn it, they're going to be very successful. If they don't learn it, they're going to fail on everything. Yeah. which is patience, discipline, perseverance, humility, consistency, organization skills, planning, all, all that, oh, and on and on and on and on and on and on. What's the humility? The humility is you're not, you have to be humble enough to understand that you're not going to be great fast. Yeah. Nothing that's great was built fast. So with the humility, you have to have patience. You can't learn in one lesson or two lessons. But humility and patience without consistency, you have nothing. Because you have to have the discipline to work on your goals every day. Let's say you're bagging groceries on a grocery store and you hate that job and you really want to be a drummer. You have to maybe put 20 minutes every day, 30 minutes to, towards your dreams and your goals. So that consistency, the every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. And then you have to be a goal setting person. You have to set up, you know, what is your goal for the next five years and it it boils down to your day if you have control of your day you have control of your week if you have control of your week you have control of the month and then the quarter and the year and then your life and i tell this to my the people that i coach randomness randomness steals you from your greatness more random you are more wasteful you are the 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 biggest treasure that you have is your mind biggest treasure is priceless billions of dollars worth of I don't know it's, you can't put a price in your mind and the other treasure that you have is time so so what do you do with your time and how you do your time is is where where is that yeah 